Hey everyone, welcome back to our scenes. In today's video, we are going to start with the next chapter, Electricity, a physics chapter and it is on page number 93 of your part 1 book. Okay, so let's get started. In this particular video, I'll be explaining you about electric current and you know, the related subtopics. And also we are going to talk about circuit, circuit diagrams and all. So let's get started. Okay. So before moving on to electric circuit, the first thing when we talk about electricity, we need to understand the term electric current. What is electric current? Current is a word which is not only used in electricity but it is also used for water specifically. As you can see here they have given you, you know, in your textbook in the first line itself, flowing of water in rivers and all, we call it as water current. So when we talk about current, it is nothing but it is about movement, it is about flow. But electricity is not flow of current sorry flow of water instead it is nothing but flow of electrical charges now we'll understand later what are electrical charges but electric current is nothing but it is a flow of electrical charges whatever wires and all we are using through that when the current flows when the charges flow through it that is when we get the electricity if at all there is an absence of flow of current, then normally we don't have electricity. And that can be controlled with the help of switch. The normal switch buttons what you use. Okay, so that is nothing but, okay, the, like here, in this case, this is the switch. Okay, the num normal switch buttons whatever you use. So that is helping you to stop the flow of current or to initiate the flow of current. So that is about your electric current. Now, this current, everything is having a unit to measure it, right? So even the current is also having a measuring unit or an SI unit to measure, standard unit. And that is nothing but ampere. This is already covered to you in your, you know, previous uh, lower classes. So SI unit of current is ampere and it is denoted with a capital A. Now, in case of solving a problem or you know uh, how we need to understand that how this current is connected or related to the other uh, relative terms or relative units of your electricity like for example charge time time is a very important aspect uh, not only in electricity in almost all the topics time is very very important so this current is nothing but you are going to find this current when you divide the amount of charge flowing in a certain amount of time that is if you divide the amount of charge with the time then you are going to get a value and that is nothing but current so if i have to denote this in terms of you know their initials or the denotion symbols Current is denoted as I. See here, ampere is different and I is different. Current is denoted as I, but the SI unit is ampere. Okay, so normally students, what they do is, ha, current's SI unit is I or current is denoted as A. So this confusion is normally created. But no, this both are not one and the same. Current, instead of writing the entire word, it's difficult to keep on writing the entire word. Hence, we denote it with a small symbol and that is I. Ampere is the SI unit of I. So, I is nothing but current. Similarly, charge, we will be talking about charge in my, you know, in, in the, you know, further part. Charge, we denote it as Q. Similarly, its SI unit is different. So, we denote it as Q and time T. So, I or current you will get the value easily if you divide the amount of charge with time 
so that is about your electric current now let's try to understand what is this electrical charges we are talking about electric current as it is nothing but flow of electrical charges so that is the reason why we need to understand what are these charges charge is nothing but fundamental particle of an atom among fundamental particle of an atom which you have studied in your previous classes you know that there are electrons protons and neutrons so this charges are nothing but the positive or the negative ones that is the protons or the neutrons together they form the charges it can be a proton or it can be a sorry electron okay so either a proton in case if it is positive or an electron if in case it's negative the flow of proton or the flow of negative so that's the electron is nothing but electric current so as explained here they are nothing but fundamental particles of an atom one coulomb charge if i say that i'm having one coulomb charge then this one coulomb charge is actually how much if i say if i just have to balance and in on one side i have placed one coulomb charge like you you know go to the uh, in the old methods you had two balances in if at all you're purchasing something of 1 kg you know uh, what they used to do is like used to have something like this and you'll have two balances right so on one side used to place the weight required how much you want to weight and the other side what you are purchasing so if i use this method in on one side if i place one coulomb charge then on the other side how much it is actually i need to know that so one coulomb charge is nothing but the total charge of 6 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons do you understand this 10 to the power of 18 see it doesn't have a minus it's normal plus right so that shows that i need to add 18 zeros before 6 before 6 uh, that is after 6 if i add 18 zeros this and this much number of electrons when i have the charge of this many number of electrons is equal to 1 coulomb charge okay so that is exactly what one coulomb charge represents charge of 6 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons together it constitutes one coulomb charge so if this is the case then what is the charge on one electron so if i have to decide what is the charge on one electron since one coulomb charge is nothing but equal to 6 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons charge what is exactly the charge on one electron this is equal to the charge of 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb it is just like the reciprocal one coulomb charge was equal to so many electrons charges now one electrons charge will be equal to so and so so if at all i say one electron has how many charge then it is this much 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulomb this tiny 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 charges when they mix up together okay so so many charges of this like if i uh, this if i multiply into this so together i'll get one coulomb okay okay so here now again if i have to this okay so charge si unit is nothing but coulomb denoted as c so if i just you know recreate this particular uh, formula with the help of its si unit it's going to be 1 ampere is equal to 1 coulomb upon 1 second that means 1 ampere current is equal to the flow of 1 coulomb charge in 1 second so that is how you can define 1 ampere you can also twist this like if at all you want to dis you want to define 1 coulomb then you can just you know shift this like substituting method this second is going to come over here then 1 coulomb is nothing but 1 ampere of current in 1 second okay so you can reciprocate it for you know based on your need now 
what is a device here see here we are talking about current we are talking about charge there is no device to measure charges but there is a device to measure current since you see as you know we are using domestic current and all we are measuring it how much we need it how much we are using it we are paying for that right so here again uh, since we are using it on lower scale whenever you are doing experiments and all so we are using a device named ammeter okay so this ammeter is a device which uses very low resistance since it has to give you accurate reading what is this resistance i'll be telling you you know in detail in you know my further videos so in short if i have to tell you what is resistance resistance is nothing but blockage something which is not letting you move forward okay so ammeter offers very low resistance and it is always connected in series so what is the series now to understand that first we will go and we'll try to understand what is circuit after that we'll be able to understand the series and parallel connections so as you can see here this is a diagram for a simple circuit a common very simple circuit which comprises of a bulb ammeter battery and all so i'll be telling you what are the symbols and everything okay so if i have to define what is a circuit circuit is nothing but a continuous closed path of an electric current if you see here this is a closed path nothing is open okay so continuously current is flowing through this continuously current is flowing through a closed path so this is a circuit now let us just you know try to understand here how a circuit diagram is represented as you can see here this straight lines whatever runs over here these are nothing but the conductors or the wire and you can see here they are showing the arrow marks here this arrow marks shows you the direction of current in what direction they are flowing so you can see here a small i which represents that this arrow marks are nothing but current then you can see your ammeter so this symbol represents ammeter okay the device which is used to measure current then you can see the positive and the negative ends of it so whenever you're talking about anything related to current it is definitely going to have two sides okay two poles at least so a positive side and the negative side okay then there is this k which is nothing but a switch okay so here in this case the switch is off right now okay i'll just you know go in detail with the symbols then here comes your battery or uh, if i say in short the series of cells okay uh, again here you are having the positive and the negative sides hmm? and then here what you can see here as a small m like thing this denotes the bulb okay so since the switch is off over here when the switch is on current will start flowing from this particular battery okay the series of cells and it will reach the bulb and it will make the bulb glow when you switch this off like in this case you are having a dot over here right this dot denotes that the switch is off when the switch is off then definitely the current will not flow and the bulb will not glow so here this bulb is a visual indicator like if the current is flowing or no and this ammeter this ammeter will show you the deflections okay we are going to uh, show you the pictures and all okay as you can see here on the screen so this will show you how the ammeter looks like so the whatever the meter is present over there you know it will deflect and the um, you know the pointer over there it will move to show the presence of current or the absence of current whatever it is it will be shown over there as you can see here this is connected directly you know in the same order in the same line as the rest of the things hence this type of connection is called series connection what we were talking about a while back ammeter has low resistance and it is connected in series so this is the series arrangement okay whenever something is connected along with it in a straight line like this is the running straight line so such kind of connections we call it as series connections 
next comes your circuit symbols for different for drawing circuit diagrams so we are going to see in detail these are very 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 important they can ask you for objective type questions or you know among the larger questions the high mark questions they'll just incorporate one or two questions of such small marks in between so just now we have seen you know the simple circuit so we have already seen the symbol right okay so electric cell an electric cell is nothing but what we call as one cell okay what we use for your remotes for your uh, you know clock and all that one cell is nothing but this a small line uh, sorry a small line and a bigger line the bigger line represents the positive side whereas the smaller one represents the negative side now see here combination and a battery see here combination of cells are nothing but more than one cell like as you can see here one two three this two lines represents one one two three so a combination of cells is also called a battery okay so this is where normally students whenever we ask you a battery we write we draw this diagrams but no whenever we talk about a battery it's nothing but a combination of cells so this what this is a special thing what we need to keep in mind because we have got a misconception over here next comes your plug okay plug key just a while back we have seen we have seen this one as i said before when you have a dot in between then it represents that the switch is off or it is closed if you don't have a dot that means the switch is on or it is open it is allowing the current to flow through it next comes wire joint if at all you are joining wire somewhere in between then you can represent it in this manner though so far we didn't have any you know in this chapter also you are not going to use this symbol but they can ask you since they have mentioned then wire crossing over without joining it is like something like i'm having this this is a wire and on this another wire is passing okay so that kind of uh, representation is shown in this manner okay it's overlapping next electric bulb just a while back i have shown you that it's like a small m like kind of thing a uh, very modernized m or uh, since it is uh, this is a printed version so they can show you this one also so this is the normally used one then comes resistor or resistance what is a resistor what is a resistance will be you know going in detail in my future videos for this particular chapter so far i guess uh, knowing the symbol is the best thing okay it's kind of a zigzag line okay this zigzag line wherever it is situated in between the circuit it represents your resistance then comes variable resistance or your stat which is nothing but which you know a kind of special kind of resistance where you can change the uh, resistance value so if that is the thing which you have attached then the same zigzag line with the uh, arrow mark passing through it or something like this you know an arrow mark you know turning towards the zigzag line then comes ammeter which i have already told you what is an ammeter okay a device which is used to measure current and you denote it with a a inside a round and a positive and the negative terminals then comes voltmeter voltmeter is something which is used to measure potential difference and uh, we'll be dealing with this in my next video and here again it is denoted with a v inside the circle and with the two terminals positive and the negative ends so this is what is to be explained in today's video okay in my future videos we'll go with the next topics till then thank you